I wanted to update on my experience with restless legs and internal tremors. Um, so I have been taking the supplements that I shared, which was B vitamins, methylated B vitamins, um, specifically methylcobalamin that's sublingual under the tongue um, for optimal absorption. And um, I was taking L-tyrosine for a while, which is a dopamine precursor. And so now I take 80 to 100 grams of protein per day. And that's pretty much gotten me to where I'm not as reliant on supplements. Oh, I was also taking a methylated B complex, a specific one that's really high in the methyl donors as opposed to niacin because methyl donors um, are what I found I needed to optimize my dopamine production. And if you're not understanding what I'm talking about, there are previous posts about it, but basically, um, I kind of ran into a theory just based on my own symptoms and trying to look up the issue and not finding any answers and I saw that people with restless legs, which was the main symptom that I was having, tend to have low dopamine and then internal tremors can coincide with low dopamine but there aren't as many studies on it. Um, and I thought that it might be involved with my niacin supplementation and I found out that niacin depletes methyl donors because when I took niacin, I found my restless legs and internal tremors got super bad after I'd taken it for a long time. So I essentially depleted my methyl donors long term. And that's really important because your methylation is like involved in your processing of all your neurotransmitters, like your feel good hormones and dopamine basically controls movement. So that's how it can affect like internal tremors and things like that and more like tremors and restless legs, um, but I, I think I basically fulfilled my needs for methyl donors over time because I'm not as reliant, I can go to bed without taking them, and I do fine, sometimes I forget, and I'm fine, um, and I also need like the basic nutrients, especially magnesium, potassium, and iron. Iron I think is a really big one. Um, you also need copper to properly metabolize iron. So if you're testing low in iron, even though you're taking it, you might need copper. And also um, you might just not realize that you're low in iron and need copper, period. Cause maybe you haven't gotten tested. You, you need all the nutrients, um, potassium, you may be low in even though you're taking a multivitamin um, because potassium usually isn't in very high quantities in multivitamins and um, people can run through it really fast like if you're stressed which can often be the case if you're having internal tremors and restless legs and also it's just really hard to get potassium even if you're 100% mindful of what you're taking in because like even the best sources only have like 10% of your daily needs of potassium like a banana only is like 10% coconut water 10% um, winter squash beans um, and then plantains. The only like really good source with like 50% is like raw heart of palm. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's really hard to get enough. I've tried and I still had like the symptoms of deficiency. Um, so I take uh, like a powder to get enough, but I wouldn't suggest that for others. You have to make sure your potassium is balanced out with sodium because they need each other. And if you don't uh, get enough sodium or if you're like depleted and just not in a healthy state to be taking more potassium then you could have really bad effects so go slow if you're going to incorporate more potassium to see if that's what you need and make sure that your sources are like salted like plantain um, beans winter squash or like tomato juice tomato sauce and leafy greens um, for the most part, you just want it to be salted. Um, yeah, and so yeah, the protein is important and the reason for that is because methionine is an amino acid that's in protein and that plays a part in methylation. So everyone needs methionine, whether you're a high methylator or a low methylator, and that could potentially be enough to get rid of the symptoms potentially. But yeah, um, I think that's it. And yeah, I, I've gone to sleep without needing those supplements and not had the symptoms and I pretty much never have the symptoms anymore. So 
there's definitely hope if you're struggling with it because like I'm in some groups of people that like have it and I know it's really frustrating and feels like there's no answers but I think there are so yeah I hope this helps and I'm curious to know about your experience if you have internal tremors and if you've ever tried like a methyl donor um, I know one other person has benefited from what I've discussed and then I know another person who actually needs gly glycine potentially because when they take a methyl donor they feel worse so I think it is involved but yeah I'm curious if you know your SNPs, like your uh, methylation test results re regarding like COMT or the dopamine processing SNP, um, and let me know if you do have that because I'm curious. Yeah, so I hope this helps and please let me know what your experience is. Thank you.